All right, yeah, and welcome back to some more RimWorld Alpha 16. Ooh, Ghostface is pregnant. Yay! We've got a pregnant cat. Not that that'll do us any good, because they're pretty much only good for selling, to be perfectly honest. Um, we, One of you guys mentioned, it's a very fantastic idea, if I do say so myself. Uh, we have a lot of animals now. Oh, great. Yeah? Just, yeah? Why not? Let's just do that, shall we? Okay. Uh, one of you guys mentioned that we have a lot of animals now, and it might be a good idea to get a lot of hay grass. And I think that's a fantastic idea. I'm probably going to set up the farm up here, though. Uh, the reason for this is that eventually all of this will be locked off anyway, and it'll become an extension of our base. So until then, we're going to put it there. It seems like we've got not enough space here. So once we've finished all of these walls, we'll be deconstructing all of this, blocking that bit off so that you can only come down this side here. And just littering this with deadfall traps, and it's going to be tons of fun. Um, not for our opponents, but uh, for us. It's going to be great. All right, as far as materials go, we're trying to make out a slate. Really what we're doing is making out of whatever we have. Oh. Oh, dear. The deer are eating fire. They are Satan's spawn. Uh, a group of pirates from the Pigs of Injury have arrived. They're attacking immediately. Alright. They look like they're just essentially melee units, every last one of them. So they are going to die quite quickly. That's good to know. One of the upsides to our base strategy is that we're really good against tribesmen and all these melee stuff. Because they've got to make it all the way down here and then we block off these little spots. So that they can't actually get through. They can only hit... Uh, X number of people. So hopefully someone switches on the goddamn uh, turrets and everybody get back. Right now. Right now. Anamu run. Run Anamu. Also, deadfall traps. Uh, can get around personal shields quite nicely. So let's see what they do about that. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boop. One of them's dead. And the other's dead. Alright. Three more. <laughs> Three more left, and they think they're getting anywhere near us. I don't think so. All right. Let's just line everybody up then. Go there. Boo-boo, I want you where Anamu is. All right. I think that's probably just going to do it like so. Oh. They hit another deadfall trap, died, and now they're fleeing. Good to know. Can we cut them off, perhaps? Potentially. Let's try. It's worth a shot. Uh, I'll just set this to... Oh god, is that how fast you move now? Oh dear. Alright. Uh, it looks like we're not catching up to them. Never mind. Alright. Uh, melee units, where are you? We have some brawlers. And these guys have just brought us some really good quality maces. Like some really good quality stuff. What were you dropping for us? Uranium shivs and a plastil knife. I think that's like... Three grand or something like that, isn't it? One grand. Never mind. Um, right, characters. Anyone who's a brawler, got to make sure that you've got a nice melee weapon. If I'm using you as a brawler as well, then we want to do that. So, uh, Plasteel Knife for you, boo-boo. Uh, you are doing nine damage every 1.3 seconds. These maces are 11 damage every 1.6 I think that works out better damage. Just check these. 12 in 1.6 and 13 in 2.10. I think that one's the best one. Just off of a hunch. And you have a personal shield as well, Martin. But you're not using it. So I have that one. And that's all of our brawlers. I think we used to have more brawlers, but I think they're, uh, they might be in one of those. So, not much we can do there. Other than that, get hauling, guys. Is it raining? It is raining. So, yeah, if you guys could uh, move some of these high-class weapons, I'd mighty appreciate that. That'd be quite good there. Um, so, let's do it in that one, and you'll never do hauling. I see how it is. Haul that, please. I want the weapons as best quality as possible. We've got some uh, go juice. Synthetic combat drug developed by, by Space Marines. Essentially, it sends you crazy if you don't use it, I think. Who created it? We're never able to remove its addictiveness. Yeah, you stay addicted to it forever. 
So if you don't take it, you have withdrawal symptoms for the rest of your life, and we don't want that. I think that's fairly obvious. Uh, we do want people back on growing, though. I've just realised I haven't set that for hay grass. There we go. You lay me another egg. You are fantastic. I've got so many eggs now. Well, 21, but that's so many. <laughs> I imagine that counts towards uh, fine meals as a different ingredient, so it's really good that we can constantly um, have eggs on top of our veg, which we can get a lot of. Uh, Solek, I know you're doing... In fact, Boo Boo's probably better to do it. Oh no, you're out of hauler. Damn it. Who's not busy right now? And now who's night owling, so... You're cleaning. Can you uh, cremate these corpses for me? That's going to be your job. It's better than cleaning. Plus, I want the clothes that are on them now. Because they're out in the rain, so they're slowly deteriorating. And I see a nice helmet there as well. That I wouldn't mind getting my hands on. Really nice personal shield as well. Seems like they're not bothered about wearing it. They will be about the Kevlar helmet, though. That's a shame. Alright. That was all the corpses that we had, wasn't it? Yes, it was. There's some silver there. 300. Ooh. That worked out quite nicely, did that? Alright, the speed up time. I want them to finish off growing all of this. I swear I told the muffalo they couldn't go anywhere near. In fact, I absolutely did tell you you couldn't go there, so why are you there? Huh? You tell me why you are in the spot where you shouldn't be. Eh, anyway. well. No, that is a bad thing, to be honest. They're not exactly doing anything. They're kind of pecking at our crops, but we can just remake them over and over again, so... Alright. So, stone cutting. Anybody on that? We haven't really got anyone prioritised to do that. I think I'll get Sammy to do it, though. Since uh, Sammy walks at a snail's pace now, he can... Work on that. Oh, you're doing tailoring first, aren't you? Do some stone cutting, because I'd rather um, work on the wall this episode. I want to finish off this little bit here, which is going to force them all down here, and then we'll close this off, and then we can actually finally start using this section of the map. And that will give us access to another steam geyser as well, so a power situation will be fine. If not, incredibly good. Oh uh, yes, we're finishing off the tomb as well, or the crypt, depending on how you uh, choose to refer to it. Is that? It looks differently coloured to me. I think it is. Hmm. If you could uh, haul that out of here, that would be mad appreciative. Alright, it's slightly dirty in there and it's ugly. You do need to put some flooring in, but it's not a massive priority for me now. Might end up changing this uh, poor quality sarcophagus as well at some point and then um, exhuming the corpse to move it into a better one. So I think Hitchcock deserves better. Most of the volcanic ash has settled. Yay! That means our solar panels are now working at full efficiency. Other than that, there wasn't really much that was uh, changing, to be honest. Everything else was just fine. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we now have lots of slate. In fact, we have so much slate, I doubt anybody's crafting anymore. So, we'll block that off there. And 120. We've got 80 there. We'll do that. What have we got? Cloth. 230 of it. That's really good, actually. It's going to help a lot with our tailoring. So, if someone could do that. Number one hauler. Everybody's number one hauling. Alright. Well, you're harvesting potatoes. I'll let you do that. You, on the other hand, get that cloth. I want it out of the rain. And any potential fires from this probably bleeding out boom rat. That's no, actually just fine. Fair enough. Oh, yes. Right. Sammy's on a minor break. What's your problem? Urgently hungry. That will be solved right now. Cool. No problem there. Sammy's exhausted. Yeah. Um, Sammy 
uh, you will no longer do any hauling. Hauling is something that you go halfway across the map to do, so I don't really want you doing it anymore. Same for plant cutting, if I want you to do trees, mining, don't do it. Growing, because it's in our base, is fine. Constructing is kind of the same. Uh, we do go a little bit out, but other than that. Then I'll put you on cooking as well, so that you can do the um, brewing. And other than that, I think we're just going to set you to do this sort of thing. Um, yeah, something like that. It seems good. I might set you on four for hauling, actually, just because I hate it when it says that they can't do hauling. Sammy's collapsed, though. Oh, Sammy. Collapsed on the chair, at least. That's a good sign. Uh, charge shot's finished. All right. Um, let's go with... Mm -hmm. Crypto sleep caskets, maybe? Yeah. Crypto sleep caskets are actually quite good. If we have someone who's, like, critically ill and needs maybe an organ or something like that, we can put them in the crypto sleep casket and we can literally leave them there until we're ready to deal with it. Which is pretty sweet. But Sammy, now that you're uh, sufficiently rested, go to bed. That'd be re good of you. All right. Don't like to say it because I end up getting uh, spited for it, but we're doing really well, surprisingly. I don't think we've ever really come across any major perils that we haven't just solved immediately. Like, we've had crash ship parts and stuff like that, but we've had... EMP grenades to properly take care of them, which has been awesome. Gwen and Amu. Always working. Beautiful. Alright, that's that top wall done. So we might actually be able to uh, deconstruct this wall at the end of the episode. It should be pretty good. Probably want to deconstruct this sandstone wall at some point. It's just kind of in the way. Don't want them using it as cover if we end up having to fight in this area here, for example. But that is officially the wall closed. I'm going to stick one there as well. So now if they attack from here, they have to come through here. If they attack from here, they have to come through here. Tiller's got food poisoning from buffalo meat. If they come through here, they have to come around here. So literally we have put them into this nice little choke point that we can take full advantage of and litter this with deadfall traps and I mean litter it because we have how much steel? 1,363 we're being raided by tribes people they're attacking immediately alright just looks like loads of clubs essentially and a couple of peelers, probably a few bows in there as well alright on that note we will toggle that And that's the power on. Make sure to hold this closed just in case we have to pull out at the last minute. And draft everyone down. They're coming immediately, so... Let's make sure that we're ready. Right, Martin, block there. Boo-boo, you're already blocking. Cool. Uh, we should really have another melee unit. But I think our turrets and a lot of our decent weapons are going to do that anyway. We'll put Tony uh, blocking... Because this weapon, although it is quite devastating when it fires, it takes a long time to do so. And I'd rather have the... Oh my god. <laughs> I'd rather have the faster firing people able to help. Look at that. That is why they do not stand a chance. They'll be fleeing in a moment. Calling it right now. There you go. And they flee on the way out, and they get hit by deadfall traps. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. How many people do we kill? Seven. All right. I don't know. We kill a lot more than that. Ten. Seven of them died before we even fired off a shot. Beautiful. All right. You guys go do your thing. So, yeah, I think we're essentially perfectly protected against tribes people. I can't see any weakness to those tribes people. After that fight, because realistically we were severely outnumbered there. If uh, 
If we didn't have the defences like that, they would have probably just swarmed us and stun locked us and we wouldn't have been able to fire our weapons back. Which is why you do have a balance. You should have a balance between melee and ranged weapons. Just so that you're actually doing something worthwhile if they do make contact. But they just never got e even close. Which is awesome. Very happy to see it. Alright, if someone could uh, finish off that slate wall, I'd appreciate that. And then once that's done, we can pretty much just deconstruct all of this, build a wall up that way. Deconstruct a few of these deadfall traps and move them over here. Probably in this little spot here where we're bound to hit a fair few of them. A couple along here maybe, because you know that the path is just going to do this essentially. You can pretty much spot the path of least resistance, which they usually take, although occasionally they'll uh, break off from that just to look less robotic, essentially. Alright. Might as well let them reset the deadfall traps, although we probably won't use them and we'll deconstruct them before then. If we do get raided, I'll be happy to have them deconstructed. Uh, to have them rearmed, sorry. Alright. So, Sammy. Where are you? Relaxing socially. Sure. Is it any time? Oh, it's joy time. I see. Emptiness has gotten food poisoning. No, not emptiness. And you're pregnant too. Which is awfully amusing. Look at all that tribal wear. 69. Nice. Alright, um, we seem to be full on power. So I'm actually going to turn these on. Just in case people feel like using them. We're clearly generating more power than we're using, so it's it's not a bad thing. I might even consider turning on some of these uh, coolers and stuff like that, just to maintain the perfect temperature. That might be going a bit too far, but you get the point. We can eventually make more greenhouses and stuff like that because greenhouses do take a lot of power with these sun lamps as you can see. It's 1600 watts for a sun lamp and this is generating 3600. So you need a lot of power to do this. Alright. Sammy. Wakey wakey. Do your thing, please. Just noticed, actually, with our regime, um, it was joy time when she got up and ate her meal. But that actually makes no sense. Yeah. I want them to eat, have joy, and then do whatever work and then get on with it, essentially. Sammy, um, please... Help us with the wall. It's time that we finish it. And make our expansion. So once we've done that, we can literally walk up to this hay grass rather than going all the way around like we're currently doing. Hold that back open again. If anyone walks through that way anyway. Could do with some lights down here as well. It looks a bit dim. I'm sure that's not the greatest thing in the world. All right. Everybody officially makes this path, which is nice. So, we want to go slate wall, slate wall, slate wall. That looks to be about 150 roughly in slate, and we've got 70, so. That's not too bad. All right. We have a fair bit of kibble now. I'm not sure how far kibble goes, but we have a lot of animals that are eating it. I guess it makes the animals happy. Oh, they really don't like it. Why am I making it then? Oh, humans can eat it, but they don't like it. No, sorry, I misread it. Fair enough. What are you doing in my fridge, little cat? Ghost face. Pregnant. All right, some more eggs. As much as I appreciate the game making me uh, unrestrict all of these eggs so that I know exactly how many we've got. Oh, 
Uh, Sammy's being attacked by a fox. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Sammy. Sammy, what are you doing? Why are you there? <laughs> Alright. Uh, it looks like Lawrence and Anama were the only people who are going to be able to respond to this. I think you're going to have to fight back. Honestly. I don't know if firing the sniper rifle is going to do you any better. Four seconds for a warm up. I think you're just going to have to fight this fox. Come on guys. Get down there. Oh, thank Christ. Oh, the amount of times I've been attacked by wild animals and lost. Sammy, I'm so glad. Uh, nothing bitten off, just a lot of scratches. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't, I don't want you going that far out. I guess, I'm assuming... No. Oh, there's loads of slate there. I don't understand why you went looking for slate blocks. Maybe you went after a different type. I'm not sure. Maybe the stockpile was full of slate at the time. There's probably a few reasons. I'm not entirely sure why, but... Yeah, Mr. Wiz. Gonna need your assistance. Treat Sammy, please. Need to find her a prosthetic leg or a bionic leg at some point. Because then I can actually put her back on all of the, uh, the work stuff that we stopped her from doing. Which would be great. In fact, with a bionic leg, she'll move even faster. If we can get one. Cargo pods. Go on, bionic legs. Oh. Some hay grass. I think the wild animals will get to it before we do, to be honest. So, we'll leave it alone. Oh, she might have been going after the cloth that was still here. Maybe? I don't know. We're so close to the end of the uh, slate, though, so that's going to be pretty good. Do we have the stuff to make a geothermal generator? We do. How many uh, components do we have? 16. I'm going to be using 8. We haven't found components in a while, actually, but we haven't really been using them either. So it's a bit of a uh, mixed bag on that regard. Alright. Somebody deconstruct that. That'd be kind of you. Smelting metal from slag. Good, good. Actually, really good. Look at all that steel. Filled up that stockpile. Cool. And we have almost finished our wall. No, no, Lawrence. Oh, GSP's got it. All right, fair enough. Right, we want to deconstruct that, and then we want to build a wall here as well. And once we've built that wall, then... Ooh, we finished the Crypt of Sleep caskets. We're going to go with multi-barrel weapons, I guess. We're just kind of researching what's left at this point. We have a decent researcher, though. 20 out of 20. Right, structure-wise. 4, 5, 5, 4, 20. Uh, I'm just going to use Slate. We're kind of on that, that path already. So if someone could build that, then we can deconstruct this wall and officially all of this region is now ours to build whatever we wish with. Which is probably going to be dedicating specific rooms uh, instead of having this all in one kind of space. We might have a, even have a dedicated dining room and kitchen separate, things like that. There's going to be lots of things that we can do once we have all that space. Get those eggs as well. How many eggs do we have? 38. Oh, wow. That's pretty sweet. All right. That has finished. Deconstruct all of that, including these deadfall traps as well. Don't need them. There we go. And in fact, uh, I'm not sure there's going to be any point having these here either. Probably want to spread them out in a diagonal this way and a few down this way as well so if I went deadfall trap I think you can make it out of slate I don't know if that's any better because I think they do uh, varying levels of damage depending on yeah it's times 100% for steel 
I'm sure there's probably, if we made it out of, say, Slate, we'll, we'll see. Maybe Slate's better than Steel. I'm not sure. These Plasteel uh, turrets seem to have done good, though. I'm not sure what they do better, um, other than just be slightly more durable, I'm guessing. But they have done their fair share of work. Uh, Nami, what are you doing? Playing chess. It, it, it's work time. It, it says work there. Thank you. Go back. Get back to work. <laughs> I need to find out how much damage this slate one does. It takes a lot longer to build. That's a given. It is a slate deadfall trap after all. Anything uh, stone related like that takes a lot longer. Okay, so we've got a slate one. It deals 36 with an 80% chance to spring. Yeah, so slate isn't a good material. 60. 36, yeah. Alright, learnt our lesson. We'll use steel. I'm sure there's probably a better material than steel, but we have a, a fair amount of it, to be honest, and not much to do with it at the moment, so. I'm gonna uh, litter this area as well with a couple. Something like that, just scattered here and there. It's gonna make an absolute living nightmare to get through it if you're a raider. Probably a couple here as well, like that. Probably find that we kill 90% of the people before we even see them in our kill box then as well. It's going to be great. Anyway guys, on that note, I think we are going to leave this episode off for today. So if you have any tips then be sure to leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more RimWorld content in the future. And if you have subscribed and haven't already, then be sure to hit the little bell icon right next to the subscription button to be notified when I release new videos. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.